Welcome to our channel. For those of you who are new around here, we're Paltai International and we created a sculpting medium called Paltai Premium that looks and feels just like clay but cures stone hard. Check out our other videos to see for yourself what's possible. And if you haven't seen part one and two of this project, then please go and check them out. We're making a ruined gothic archway and today we'll be showing you how we sculpted the front and back. And all the tools you need will be listed below in the description. So begin by mixing more Paltai Premium and it should dangle just like this. The dimensions of the archway are on the screen. So we're securing the scratch coat that we left on the tracery window by pressing the Paltai Premium deeply into the grooves and this will ensure that it survives any freeze thaw. It's a good idea to work in small three cup batches at a time, adding on the Paltai Premium to the rest of the foil archway. So as we've added about a cup, we're now drawing in a good scratch furrow coat over everything. This is the first layer of Paltai Premium and we will be putting on detail in the coming days. So we like to leave that nice scratch coat and that means that it can be added to at any time in the future. Usually use the fork at a 45 degree angle to get that nice deep scratch coat. By making each level a different direction of furrow, the forms are kept clear and concise. And just continue doing this for the rest of the archway. It's actually a really therapeutic process. So just enjoy this time creating. And now we have the finished scratch coat. Time for wrapping and strengthening, five days minimum. And on the second day, add moist towels for greater strength. So several days later, we're now spraying the scratch coat lightly with water. This makes it easier for the Peltai Premium to grip into the grooves of the surface, that lovely scratch coat that you made. So starting at the bottom, make a small two cup batch of Peltai Premium and apply a thin layer 3 sixteenths of an inch thick to one area. And rake with a fork until level and the different vertical and horizontal surfaces can be seen clearly and then smooth that with a trowel. Again, keep the surfaces and edges clear and crisp. Flatten the surface with a small block. and draw in the baseline of your stones.
and draw staggered lines separating the individual blocks. round off all the corners with this tool. This makes each block look more visually independent from the other. Once you've done that for all the stones, flatten the top of each block. This will pick up a flash of light which nicely separates each layer of stones. Now we're using a small wooden block to lower the level of several random blocks. This creates more interest by adding a variety of depth. And to add a stony texture we use our trusty old crumpled tin foil pressed into the Paltai Premium. And remember that extra wall that we decided to make? Well we're pretty much doing the exact same here. This is the first piece where we're doing the scratch coat. And then we'll cure that for around about seven days. So we finished the front of the archway by doing all the stone work exactly the same way we showed you. And then now it's being placed under plastic for strengthening and curing. And on the second day, add those wet towels. So several days later, when it's hardened, we can remove the cardboard backing to do the back. This can get a little messy, so just be sure and hot glue any loose foil that's come away while you've been doing that so that the Peltai Premium has something to grip to. And using your square and trowel, just compress any of the tin foil so that there's a surface edge for the Peltaya Premium to grip to. Rasp the edge, this will make for a clean silhouette. And now just check your work and make sure that you'll have enough room for the back layer of Paltire Premium. The base has been widened with a single row of base blocks and a tiny buttress. It makes the back look more interesting. So now we're applying a um, half inch thick layer of Paltire Premium. Since there is virtually no detail to sculpt in the back, the scratch coat isn't necessary. So we're applying the whole thickness in one coat. Filling in any exposed edges deeply will weld the front to the back aggressively. Rake to give it a levelish surface. Some surface irregularities will give the back character. Use a board to flatten any large areas. And then again with the crumpled tin foil, press in lightly for extreme texture. And there you have the back completed. So there's the front, and the back, and the little wall. Time to place under plastic for strengthening and curing. And we left this for a full two weeks. Full curing instructions can be found on our website. And do join us for part four, which is coming soon, where we'll be painting this beautiful ruined gothic archway. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more cool videos.